This conference will now be recorded. Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to this training of uh, how to apply for jobs via email. Duration of this training is around 15 20 minutes. And I'll try to wrap it up within 20, 15 20 minutes. You can see in one chart, you can see in five, five minute slots on your mobile phone, your laptop, like that. Okay. So, about trainer and the organizer. I'm the trainer, I'm the organizer, organizer for this training. My name is Muzammir Hussain Sheikh. I have uh, more than nine years of IT experience. I've been to UK and UAE as well for a couple of years. And I am also into trainings, conducting classroom trainings and online trainings, free training as well as paid trainings. Okay, so training content, what is agenda of this training? What is need of this training and to whom this training is for? What is the expected audience of this training? We'll be uh, going through real time examples of how exactly people wrote email and especially freshers at the time of applying for any type of jobs. This is from all, ITs, uh, all sectors, IT, civil, mechanical, uh, all streams of uh, the education. An impact of good way and bad way of writing emails on recruiter. If you write good email, what is the impact? If you write a bad email, what is the impact? Like that. And what are the best practices to follow at the time of uh, writing an email to apply for a job? And at the end, what is the takeaway message from this training? like a few bullet points like you should remember uh, from this training. It's not possible to remember each and everything. So that's why we have takeaway messages. Yeah. So starting with need of this training and for whom. Okay. It is for everyone who wish to send an email to apply for a job. As simple as that. You got a message on social media uh, or you've seen the message on job portals linkedin no cream monster you want to apply for that so this training is for you it will give you a few guidelines on what best practices to follow and what mistakes to avoid at the time of applying for that job okay imagine from recruiter hr point of view who has posted multiple job openings on the job portal whatsapp facebook telegram etc and he's receiving multiple emails for same now imagine from HR point of view or a recruitment firm point of view they have posted thousands of jobs and you are applying for one of the jobs now it is very important that you mention in your email for which position you are applying for you should not send a blank email without any message or without any body in the emails or not mentioning the job name and the job code in the subject line so this will make the life of HR or the recruiter miserable. They will have completely no idea about for what position they are receiving the email and for which position they need to apply for. What people think like we have sending the CV for you, open our CV of so many pages full of text, read it, go through it, understand yourself for which position I'm best suitable for. So that is not a good way of assumption from the sender point of view. So that's a very wrong way of applying for any type of job. Okay, I got a opening in my team. I think many times before posting on WhatsApp or any social media group. Why I fear? Because I'll start receiving spam emails. People send me emails like uh, nothing in the subject line. CV file name is incorrect. Resume 2 dot doc and subject line, nothing is mentioned. Okay. Blank email body. So I feel exactly like I should not publicize or should not share my email ID address at least. 
in the groups so that's why i don't post uh, job openings and at the same time from the other perspective people are applying for the jobs but they are not receiving any calls that is also one of the reasons uh, we get to hear from so many people like i have applied for 10 jobs but i did not receive a call for a single of them but they, they will not tell you in in what way they have applied for so if you look at the email pattern in the way they have applied for definitely it will be get rejected because the way it has been applied it's not good okay it shows how professional and serious a job seeker is and how eagerly he is looking for a job now if a person is really eager for the job looking for the job uh, seriously then he is supposed to reply he is supposed to apply in a professional way that is all it's expected because this is a completely professional world corporate industry you should take care of a uh, soft skill more than technical skill sometimes that's the way okay so this is about this slide going to the next slide real time examples of how people wrote email this is a very important slide you should see uh, this very carefully and i'll show you what bad things people have done okay example number 1 here it is subject line resume dot docs in the subject in the email body what's there wps office word dot doc pdf node so what this guy has done simply has shared the email from the resume from cloud and it, the cloud has added few things into the subject line in the email and that is getting forwarded to the end user or the the recruiter or the hr so what now you think what will you do with such type of uh, emails will you open the cv will you go through the cv will you understand for which position it applies for or you will simply uh, ignore it now you have only 5 10 seconds to understand how badly this is written so this is example number 2 now we have uh, one now we have example number 2 once again email sub body empty cv file name resume updated dot docs not professional at all what do you mean by resume updated and look at it in the first example uh resume dot docs it's not a good way of uh, writing cv file name third this is looks like uh, for electrical engineering subject is spam <laughs> what does it mean it doesn't mean anything email body empty cv file name cv electric engineering to what does what should i consider after looking at this type of this video of this type of cv file names engineering 2 where is engineering 1 okay so this is completely big no fourth example yeah look at the subject line mechanical now i'm getting a email mechanical what should i think any mechanic has come to my house to repair something what does it mean cv file name my cv obviously if someone is sending his cv it will be his cv for a job so what is the need of writing my cv and email body is once again blank so all four examples they are completely big no okay now look at this example this cv is of guy is from civil background and the opening which i have posted is for it and i have clearly mentioned in the group in the message that non it guys please do not send me but still this guy has sent and on top of that the way he is writing email is completely wrong he has sent an email on 13th of december and he simply took that email forwarded to me on 24th of jan without writing anything without removing the unwanted uh, text in the forwarded email and the pdf the, the resume file name was also incorrect so i cannot do anything and it is simply rejected there you go the flying one this is the way you should write a email at the time of applying for any job this is a lady okay 
now all names i have uh, removed because of the privacy constraint i don't want to publicize anyone's name so this is a girl's email a non muslim girl is applying for the job look how professional the cv is looking like uh not the cv the email is looking like so this is how you should apply okay looking at the last example the good one okay so this is also a good way of applying for job you write something you describe something about yourself though this is also very descriptive you should not be this much descriptive but anyways this is also a good way of writing but the bad thing about this is that the resume file name resume not pdf it doesn't make any sense okay so these are the examples now if you get such types of emails then what will be the impact on you and definitely what is impact on the hr person so we will take a look at that in the next slide impact of good cv and bad cv of writing emails on recruiter okay email gives first impression about your professionalism if you are not writing good emails then it simply says that you are not a good professional it is not always about your college degrees and certificates soft skills are important here okay so email writing etiquette are very important now how much time do i have only 10 20 seconds are enough to look at the email and judge a person as simple as that bad written emails are simply rejected even though profile is strong now people reading this statement be careful don't think that you have this much of this much of percentage you did this much certification you have this much of experience but you are not writing emails properly then your profile will be simply rejected and one more thing hr cannot change or write email for you so be careful about that it is about professionalism and soft skill and not about religion all the time you don't you, you cannot say that people are biased only one religion and one community you cannot say like that you have to show your professionalism you have to show your technical skills then the world is for you so please come out of the mindset that people are biased for one community and people are biased for one religion that's not at all the case there are few scenarios but in general this statement is not true okay going to the next slide best practices this is the one we should follow first one read the message carefully check whether you are eligible for same don't spam the recipient mailbox now reading the message is very very important read it two three times there are many instructions to follow in the message sometime it is written that for freshers if you if you are a fresher then it is said that you are supposed to reply with your percentage of all your academics 10 12 degree masters something like that and someone is asked to send some information in the email so it's very important that you read the message carefully two three times to understand it what does it what does it mean okay write job name code in the email subject line this is very important for which position you are applying for you should write in your subject line itself either job name or the job code and if you are forwarding already sent email make sure that you remove unwanted content in the subject line and the body if you forwarded a email one month ago and if you are supposed to follow the same email to another person then make sure that the subject line does not have the word fwd that is forwarded and in the content also you remove the forwarded content that is copy pasted automatically you, you, you remove that okay attachment file type it should be pdf why pdf because pdf does not need any application to open it can be open in browser also and many people don't know how to make pdf so i'll tell you open your word file of extension docx not doc okay remember if it is doc then first save is at as docx so open your docx file save is save as pdf there you go you have your pdf file ready which you can share it okay
Okay. Then the CV file name. File name should be your name. Underscore. If you're fresher, then say fresher. If you're experienced guy, then say two years experience. Then your skill. Then your location. Okay. If you're fresher, then mention year of pass pass out as well in the file uh, CV file name. Key people in CC if required. If someone has referred you and you're supposed to show that uh, to other person that I'm applying with reference to that person, then you can keep that person in CC. Greet the recipient with the uh, some message. This is very important. This show that this show that you care the other person. Okay. So how can you greet the other person? You can write greeting for the day, good morning, good evening, like that. And mention about from where you got to know about this job opening, portal, WhatsApp, Facebook, or any referral, etc. This is very important. The HR person should come to know, like from where you have got this information, either by any referral or any job portal, Nokri Monster, or any WhatsApp group, something like that. Okay. Write an email such a way that it can easily be forwarded without hesitation and without doing any modifications. Suppose you send an email to me and I'm supposed to forward that email to my manager, then I should not hesitate by looking at the email. If it is badly written, then definitely I will hesitate to forward um, to my manager. I will not forward it to manager or HR. So in that case, what I'll do, I'll simply reject the profile. I will not forward to anyone else. So please do not write email with the other person will hesitate uh, to forward to the next level and I don't have any time to modify it because I cannot modify your email and forward to someone else because I have thousands of email to, mo to modify so definitely what I do I prefer not to modify and not to forward okay message body write your short name your present location your university board name not necessary that you should write your college name school name also because no one cares about that people who care only about is university and the board the percentage you have got if you do it any certifications like that mention how immediate you can join and this is very important mention your linkedin profile link and keep the linkedin profile updated make your linkedin profile keep it up to date and give the url in the email body so that if a person opens the link, then he has full view of your profile in one go. Do not need to open your CV also. And end the email with thank and regards with your contact number. This is once again shows that you are professional enough. Now, there you go. The most uh, favorite slide. I have gave the sample text as well uh, of writing email. Okay, subject line applying for junior developer present location Delhi. Hello, sir, madam, or you can simply say name. Greetings for the day or good morning. Either of them. Now the email text. I am Shahrukh Khan writing from Delhi and this email is in reference to your job opening post on Nokri.com, WhatsApp, Telegram, whatever for above mentioned post. I wish to apply for the position of junior developer. I have completed B, B Tech, MCA, whatever from this university with this percentage and I did this certification as well and I can join in a week. Attached is my resume which has more details in it and below is my LinkedIn profile. Do let me know if my profile suits the said opening. Looking forward to hear from you. Here is your LinkedIn link. Then regards, Shahrukh Khan, then mobile number of Shahrukh Khan, like that. So this is just a sample text. Do not copy, copy paste as it is, because there are things to modify. Uh, so copy paste intelligently. You can write a few more things, but don't make a, a story type of email. Take away messages. Big note to not matching emails. Uh, job opening is there for IT, and a mechanical guy is a.
job is there for experienced person a fresher is applying completely big no that sort of big nose big no to blank email body if you are setting a blank email completely big no not allowed big no to generic cv file names like resume my cv updated cv final cv final 2 cv final 3 my cv final 9 doesn't make any sense so don't write such type of cv names pray five times salam we are muslim so we should pray, pray five times even when you are in office and when you are not in office understand the quran what it says okay tafsir ibn kaseer is available in all languages and go through best practices slides once again in order to understand in more detail what all things you should mention in the email okay feedback suggestion like and comment this video on youtube share feedback in main telegram group also and invite more people to this group okay jazakallah and Thanks for watching.